and welcome back. My name is Vanessa Blank from Wild Woman Bushcraft and today I am again at my forest cabin. Um, we had in the last days a very big storm call it Sabine and many trees are falling down, many trees are broken, many houses are damaged and I hope so much that my cabin is in one piece when I came back and nothing is damaged. And ah, thank you, it is nothing happened. I work a lot now inside. I bring all the old stuff outside. I clean the cabin and now there came the, the things that make the cabin comfortable and let me feel like I am at home. But from the beginning on, let's start and see what I do here inside. So if you want, so if you want, you can join me. Today I've got help because I had a transporter with me, with the new chair and something for the cabin. And um, it is impossible for me to carry it alone to the cabin. With my car it is not possible. Um, I had an uh, I had a friend that had a massive Land Rover and he can drive me the stuff close to the cabin that we don't have to carry it for such a long distance. And I am a little bit in hurry because uh, in this evening a big storm is coming with very strong wind and I had to go out till this moment out of the forest because it will be too dangerous and I had a lot of work at home to save my house and the farm from the storm so the time window is not wide I had to hurry It was now hard work to bring this all here to the cabin, but now we've done it and I bring now everything inside of the cabin. I had to hurry before the storm came. I want to close the cabin and drive with the children out of the forest till the storm arrived. And then I just hope that no tree around fall at my cabin. When the storm is not coming, I just could relax here and enjoy. Um, yeah, this is the biggest part. I'm really thankful that I had help with this because alone the, the table, it is massive beech wood. And yeah, I, I am never able to put this here uh, in the forest. Up. Oh. Yeah, but now I had to bring it inside. I think a long time what I should use for sleeping. At first I saw that sleeping pads, but they are not big enough to sleep for a long time comfortable. And now I had this one here. This is a normal uh, sleeping pad for the bed. I'm not sure if mattress is the right word. So, and when I am away, I put this uh, in the air and not lay it here at the bed tool. So the air circulation can come every, everywhere around. And then I hope it is fine for the next years. So. For the, the transport or sanding, the mattress is um, very strong fixed with a vacuum without air and now it had to go high again the loft had to fill again 
and then it will be very comfortable. New day, new work. I am very happy that I can drive into the forest today after the storm. It was very bad in Germany, but here it was not so bad. And the ways are free now. There are many trees that are fallen or broke. Um, and I'm very happy that the, the head is uh, in one piece and not damaged. So the storm was not so bad that I thought. So and now just a uh, view over the now situation, how it looks now and then we start with the day work. The new table is inside, it was a little bit too small, um, but I make it bigger with the, um, the pieces of the old table. I only fix it here down and now it had a nice size that I can eat here. Um, behind me you can see the fire extinguisher, very important in a um, wood cabin, you know never what happened and so I am uh, at the safe side and I can react very fast. And now I show you part of part from the new stuff here inside and what I want to build or for what I want to use it. This furniture was um, when I was a child in my children room and now I use it a few years not and I'm very happy that I can use it now outside here in my cabin. And this will stay here in this living room of course at the wall and there come inside everything what I need here in this room. So the dish or the tools um, it has a very nice size where you can put a lot of stuff inside and yeah, with this everything is clean and away. I want to have something like a small kitchen inside and I bring this here from home. This would be my work uh, table, my kitchen table where I can um, make the food, cutting and cooking and I hate when I can, can't get something clean and when I cook here there will be a lot of sparkles with fat around and fat sparkles at wood you can't get it out again so I make, me, I make myself here a small area with metal out of it and um, there can came the fat sparkle in and I can clean it again. And I also want to have a small part here for making the dish clean off and for washing the hands. And um, I want to make a hole here inside um, where I can make the part uh, for cleaning. So I want to have something with fresh water here. There is a small lake near by the cabin, but it is um, the quality is not so good. There is a lot of dirt inside and I had to clean the water before I can use it. So I bought this canister and I bought uh, uh, three of them. So I can always bring one of them with fresh water from home here to the cabin and bring the, the empty one again home. And I want to fix it, this here, over the kitchen plate and so I had always fresh water for cleaning the hands and for making the dish I had to cook the water till it is boiling. And I want to have one of this inside and one outside so if I work outside I don't have to go with dirty shoes inside of the cabin, I only can wash my hands in a few seconds outside. I am very happy that I can carry the massive stuff like the table with the hinterher here to the cabin. The hinterher is normally a bike trailer but you can also use it like it is now and with this I can carry uh, stuff with a high weight to the cabin without hard working. The mattress had now the full loft 
um, and the children played also here it is perfect so they had their piece here behind the wall and can can play uh, you see there is an, a hole between the wall and the mattress Sebastian some busy lies okay and I want to fill it with a blanket so I had more space to lay and the toys of the children will <coughs> be always outside because I don't want to bring it every time here and bring it back so um, I left this here I've got this shelf for 10 euro many people always know massive furniture cost a lot of money but you can buy it um, many other people don't use it and they sell it and so I've got this for 10 euro perfect and here came everything inside that I need here for a bed the toys from the children some books some blankets the, all the small stuff because I like it when everything is clean and I had a um, big empty area into the room I thought a uh, long time how I should <coughs> make the wood oven here inside and now I had a great idea how I can uh, make it but um, I tell you this when the time to fix to build it is there so till I had this oven I had um, this tool here this is a gas oven I can use it here inside when it is too cold because this gas is in a few days empty and I don't want to bring a new bottle here inside of the forest <coughs> and for the light I had this fire hand lantern I like this this had such a little bit a wild west style and they don't cost much money and I I think they um, are perfect for a cabin in the woods this generate tool is very useful very helpful in the building time because um, I don't have for every tool an accu and uh, the most time the accus are not so the accu batteries are not so powerful so I can't use it inside um, because of the um, not the gas of the of the um, the stuff that came outside <laughs> I don't have the right word you can't brief it so I had to use it outside but maybe I had an idea how I can start and use it inside too with a little help I realize now the cooking area here is my fresh water depot it hangs here at the wall here I can open it that I can wash my hands or make the dish and here in this plate came a hole um, and here I want to build something where I can make the dish a small um, pot or something else and here I can work I can make the food and this here is the cooking area and I can open the window while I'm cooking because I don't want to have the smell from cooking after eating in the room. I left a few pillows and blankets here and I had to test how wet the forest house is if I can <coughs> leave it here or not and maybe it smells after a few weeks like an old house so I just tried but this room here is perfect for the children they can make a rest here or play alone when they want to have uh, when they want to play alone this is great in this rack are also a few things now I had clothes for the children if the clothes from them get wet and very big socks for the guests and me because here inside I don't want that anybody walk with shoes because of the dirt and with the dick, with the with the socks um, everyone had warm feet 
And here is also uh, are also a uh, um, few play stuff from the children, so that um, they always had something to play here in the cabin when it is. Uh, too uncomfortable outside when it is windy or rainy and they want to play inside. I want that everything here inside had his place and so I had at the door a small wardrobe for the jackets. And when I built at the cabin it can happen a lot. So I had here the first aid kit. At first I want to put it in the furniture but um, now I can reach it very fast if I need it. And you know here my water safe mat. <coughs> I've built it the yeah, I've built it yesterday, but today I had some really nice new stuff. This one is very old from the farmhouse. They cooked the fat out, the pig fat in the past, and now I had it here inside to wash my hands. It looks very rustic and it fit perfect here inside of the cabin. So I am happy that I had it now here inside. The cooking area is not ready. I need something to protect the wall from fat, but I don't have it yet, so I had to build it in the next days. And here is uh, everything I need to eat. The dish. At first I want to have a bigger one, but I don't have enough place here inside, so um, it is only enough place for this one, but I had everything now inside and it looks very nice. When the children and I walk often outside and inside of the cabin, we bring a lot of dirt inside. And because of this, I had this one here. I hope that the dirt uh, came only here and then I can bring it outside and uh, rub it out that the dirt is outside then and when they are dirty I can bring it at home and clean it. And here a bed for my two ducks horns. It will not stay there. I think I put it under the table so that they had their own place. Here is everything inside what I need often, like some tools or here for, for the gas or something to clean. So everything that I need often, but it is not enough space in it, so I had to change something that I had more space there inside. When I came now inside here and make the lights on, it looks very nice and very comfortable. With the lantern, it has such a little bit of campfire uh, feeling and the, the, the wood from the walls reflect the light very nice, very, very warm. And I feel, I, I had a very nice feeling when I am inside here. And of course I had to do some more things here inside, I'm not ready, but the biggest point here inside is ready. 
and the hard work came now outside yeah. at the roof I found out now that there is some second rotten part and of course the big rotten part at the wall outside there is also a lot to do and now I just want to thank you you gave me so much support I've got a lot of PayPal donations from you I've got many many helpful tips and tricks through the comments and or some um, cannot help me but just write lovely words friendly okay. words and this is just great that make my heart a little bit warmer than it is so thank you and if you want you can stay tuned and see the process of repair the full forest house the full cabin thank you for watching we see us the next time bye bye